All right, guys. Welcome back to another Subnautica video. Um, let me get some of these lantern fruits. But what I just basically did uh, for this episode is I went to go get some more resources, and I got two orange tablets and two purple tablets by crafting them. Because I went out and then went to get the nickel ore and the diamond ore. I didn't have to go back to base because I didn't feel like going back to base. But now I got the prawn suit right here, the health. Why no health, hmm? I thought I had the repair module for a reason. It is not equipped. What? 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 Uh, energy efficiency. Engine efficiency. I actually, uh, give me this, actually. Alright, did it repair it? Alright, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, what do I not want? Thermo reactors. I don't want the sonar, I would think, right now. You gonna heal? 100? You almost 100? You almost 100? 100. Let's go. Alright, no more. Go back to sonar. Put this back up, and then now, let's go... Um, nom, 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 nom. I got some food and water on me. So yeah, let's just, let's just get going. Into the abyss, like last time. No, I'm kidding. More the reaper bodies, the reaper bones. Now, where is the sea emperor? emperor? Nowhere near me, so let's get in there. Woo! We're running out of boost. Getting a little nervous. Goodbye, fish. Get out of my way. So now we can actually go get the lore that we want. And I do remember the way somehow, even though it's been a while since we, uh, since I play this, actually. Let me put away my phone, because I ha had something there in the past on my phone that would help me. Whoa, what am I doing? What am I even saying at this point? I, I used to have my phone to time the video because I couldn't have OBS open because I only had one monitor. Now I got two, so now I can actually see how long it's been. So Let's do it. Insert tablet. Purple. Two purples, two orange. That should be enough. Alright, there's two. Let's grab the one in the middle. Lightning strikes. The... Green lightning. I open up Steam. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Ah, oh. primary containment facility location 1.1 1. 1, uh 1.4 kilometers from here, so very close. Uh, power distribution. Uh, distribution, arc network, sanctuaries, containment facility. Oh, so this place is what gives power to every everywhere else on the map. No way to interrupt the power flow. And then there's another location right next to us. Got it. What's a sweet offer? Giant freaking robot soup. Alright. Alien thermal. Ooh, my goodness. I know, I know, I know. I'm bothering you guys' ears. My bad. There's something on my mic. This system's directly com 
converting local thermal energy into electrical current at 90% efficiency. Most of the energy is being stored in the battery like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough power to small uh, to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it's distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and current given current understanding of the mechanisms involved. Interruptible. You cannot interrupt it. Alright, let's see this one. Ion powder. It has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien. Ion power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Blueprint stored in data bank. Uh, it's been possible to extract useful information on alien ion power. The ion cubes are grown artificially from mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state by, despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube in an appropriate device, the energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints to leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. So, where is it? We got new things to make. Ion, a battery infused with the alien ion technology, and then power cell infused with alien ion technologies. Yeah, we get the ion batteries now. Delicious. I'm going to keep that on, actually. When we get back to the ship, we do have extra silver ore and gold. So, it might make me a battery. I don't want to use all my ion cubes though, but just one. Just one for my uh, glider, I think, probably. Insert tablet. Last purple one we got, right? Yep. Anyway, it doesn't let us be easy. Ooh. Blue tablet. Let me scan it. Smooth and cold. With a blue light, it emulates. An alien symbol resembling an uppercase H. While it's likely that these devices served in part as security clearance for whoever constructed them, their size suggests some of the additional purposes, such as personal computers. However, the case, the technology fall is far beyond humanities. All right, how do I make the blue ones? So orange tablets, two nickel ore, and then ion cube. The blue ones, two of these blue. Okay, and then the one of the ones diamond. All right, and then let me grab it. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, that was it. Come here to me. Well, time to follow the pretty lady. Play, uh, pretty lady. Pretty lady. What do you mean? It's a creature. Pretty voice lady, I mean. That's when it's just like, I am not a lady. I am everything. Turns into Palpatine or something. Because I think that's what he said at the uh, end of the one movie. Blue stuff, I will take. Stupid warper. Stupid. St stupid hobbitsons. Hobbits or whatever. It's like Smeagol. Golem. Alright. Now it's time to go to the entrance, see if it's safe, and then if it's safe, go back to my ship. Because now we are done with being on this. Ow. Oh yeah, how does it feel? I'm gonna kill you. How is he just not dying? Yeah. Out of here. Annoying. Annoying bum. He kept on messing with me each time I'd come near.
I think to say it's safe to get down. Okay, I didn't hit the mana ray. Do do I care about the fish? No. Mana ray? Yes. Mana rays are a friend. Why should I hurt them? They are wonderful. They are beautiful. I don't know what that was. Ah, oh, my head. I got a little dents in them. It's like being picked up and thrown as a child. My childhood. Uh, I'm gonna make the battery, but I don't think we should because I only got three more ion cubes left. Sadly, I'll I have to make them at a different point of time, I guess. Anyways, this is the end of the vi no. Okay. How about we uh replace these bad boys? Nice. Put these up. I got some extra sulfur and some extra blue stuff. Um, we do need some water. And uh, now we're going to go down the giant hole. But guess what? Water break. Water break is fulfilled. A head flag, emergency speed, Morning. vessel counterfeit, excessive, excessive noise, the head standard. Is this the right area? Yeah, I see now. I can't see that well. If you want to help me, you could get some directions or something. What what street are you on, bro? West Avenue or something? Oh my god, there's another one. He wouldn't want to... You wouldn't want to take a snack out of me, huh? Uh, Where did he go? Oh my god. Alright, hold on. We're gonna have to... Oh. My. God. Shit. What did I hit? What did I hit? <laughs> I didn't hit anything. I just hit the wall. Oh my god. He's mad, I tell you. He's mad.
We're gonna need somewhere to park this thing, honestly. I think this is the best we can do. We can't really go near the entrance of the cave because Gastron go just beat me up. Engine powering down. Alright. I thought you guys would turn into more. So mm. one, two, and then give me an ion battery. And then I'm gonna make an extra blue. I think you might need one. Alright, let's go. Woo! We're making it to the end guys. Or maybe we're not. You know, we are making it to. We're making it in. Actually, I was going to say something clever, but now I lost. We're into hell. This is hell. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. Oh! Fireballs! Fireballs! Oh my god, he's going insane. He's going insane. Oh my god. It's hot. I'm getting out of here. Okay, there's one. There's one blue. All right, let me get it through. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning: vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg fetching project terminated. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Let's get out of here, guys. No, I'm good. Iron Cube Fabricator. There's a bunch of robots around here. This device appears to be a origin of a raw material mineral that forms at the base of the ion cubes which power smaller alien systems like the drawing power from itself from the main thermal plant this device may represent almost limitless source of energy cool ah, i can't get it without the prawn suit not gonna go through there rudimentary tablet yeah look how it looks this device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access alien facility, although the structure is rather less complicated. Sorry for hitting the mic. It may be served as smaller purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data, and thus kept as a form of legacy, legacy support. Oh, okay. It's like a... It's like comparing... A USB to a disk floppy drive or something. I don't know. This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It is likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote location. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. Alien statue. Scan. It's like a crystal. This artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served as a ceremonial rather than a practical purpose. The pyramid re represents vines spiraling up towards the warm blue stone mounted above it. may represent a plant found in the alien's homeworld. A building of re religious support and even gravitational pull of their home solar system. What is that? That's a carbon? It looks like it looks like a, a live. Hello, robot. This carving is hundreds and thousands of years is hundreds of thousands of years old. It's made from unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears a striking resemblance to the old earth yin-yang symbol. 
Two competing theories that may explain this similarity. Aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century BC and influenced and influenced the development of the ancient Chinese philosophy. The concept of yin yang is universal since yin and yang describe the fundamental independency of seemingly opposite forces. It may be necessary may be a necessary existential understanding in some forms and all uh significantly developed sensations. Probably said that wrong. The tapering of two circles union and imposed an infinitely similar infinitely smallly small point. Similarly, small points, the infinite, is one logical way to represent this understanding, and may have been developed independently by species other than humans. Ancient Blade. Can I use that? I want to, I want to use it. I want to use it. An ancient earth blade. Oh, dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of of state from the period. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization again in separate reptilian study of less, less developed species. Interesting. That's one side. Let's go on the other side. Alien object. Alien building block. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there's some genetic and technological crossover with the design of self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in the current state, and it's awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as these have been fundamental building blocks of the alien technologies, or the aliens themselves. Alien building block. Okay. Crescent artifact this construct this construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal it consists with alien transmission it's interpreted in blah. elsewhere dna on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms in dgs2 4546b it's su it's size suggesting this uh, subject was a leviathan class organism but on the tracking and broadcasting its location the implant may also have recorded biological data on the subject however it cannot be retrieved the data Unusual box. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it, while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it has more likely to be sterilized spaces for later in habitation. Without without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Empty case. Why is this one taking so long? Scan shows a form of advanced nanobot inside this seemingly. Oh, scans shows some form of advanced nanobot inside the seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to assert to assert their exact function. It would, it would, however, be unwise to release them. Can you see it? It's so cool. No, I'm kidding. You can't see anything. Translation device. This this device stores. Whoa! What the? F hey! This device stores logistics data from over a thousand different languages. The core of this device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis on onboard data relieves a number of ancient Earth languages. At this term, CHBC Live appears many times in device data. Its import is unclear. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It would not uh, work the other way around. Oh, you're not going to hit me now, huh? Stinky. And then all these are teleport teleporters. Do I want to do it right now? No. You know what would be cool right now? Is... I'm actually making the video a lot longer now. Oops. But what I want to do is get the data. I mean, get this. I'm actually going to call it here, honestly. 
And then the next episode is going to be a finale. Like, definitely going to be like, whoa, episode. So I just got the ion cubes. Whoa. Did I get the data up there? No. Is he gonna do? What's happening? Oh, it is making it. It just feels like it's taking a long time. Maybe taking a lot of power. We'll watch it f make it from here. It's almost done. It's almost done. So this is how they just make more ion cubes. And I do want to click on this, but I'm not going to do it in this episode because this episode's already pretty long. And I kind of want to check what's behind here as well, but I'm not going to do that now I'm thinking about it. I'll just end it here and then after this then we can uh start the next episode we can look what's back here go read what's on that console go to turn on all these teleporters to see where they lead uh and after doing the teleporters then we can go in the main room i've read a bunch of dang it's taking a long time i want to episode in the episode on when it's done is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Will it not kill me? It does not care. <laughs> it would be funny if it like fully charges the prawn suit by going through the electrical field. Electrified field. Oh, it's done. Hot and ready for consumption. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Oh yeah, that turned on. That's what the big noise was sometimes. So yeah, we will end the video here. We have done a bunch of stuff. So you guys have a good day and uh, peace out.